Welcome all, welcome back at C Square. In this mini lesson, I will talk about what is called double reflection over parallel lines. If you notice, is we have two lines, DE and the line that goes through F. These two lines are parallel. We notice here a 90 degree angle, and this is the distance between these two lines. And you have this triangle ABC. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to reflect this triangle over the line DE. There you go. This is the image of reflecting ABC over the line DE is the triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. And now I'm going to do a second reflection. I'm going to reflect this triangle A prime, B prime, C prime over the line containing points F. Look at here what we get. We get A second, B second, C second. This is the result of reflecting this triangle. Okay. Now I'm going to unclick the first reflection and now I'm going to look to these two triangle and my question is if we can find a unique transformation translation reflection or rotation that takes this triangle and move it right here on top of a second b second c second and the answer is yes that will be a translation if i slide this guy this triangle abc and you see here 9.604 units this direction I'm going to be on top of this triangle now you notice these two numbers are related right this number is twice 4.802 or vice versa if you want to say that this number is half of the uh, magnitude of this vector or the distance between a and a second and in fact that is my, my next slide that is a summary where I said the double reflection of a parallel line is equivalent to a translation, right? Again, one more time, translation by a vector that is perpendicular on the line, on these two lines, D, E, and uh, the line that goes through F, and the magnitude, a uh, distance, that is double the distance between the parallel lines, and that's it. If you enjoy this mini lesson, don't forget to click the like button and come back and C-square for more help. Thank you.